going to show you how to log into Chrome, log into Chrome, because once you log into Chrome, your read and write extension will work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Chrome to open it. And as you can see, there's just an icon of a person up here, but my name is not there. So I need to log in in order for my name to be there and also in order for my extensions to open. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I click sign into Chrome. And you're gonna go ahead and sign in with your school email. And your school password. It's gonna ask you if you wanna link data. You link your data, yes. Okay, got it. And see how my name is right there? All right, so now that I'm in, it takes, um, it does not, uh, all the extensions don't load automatically. It takes some time to load the extensions. So I've noticed that the little purple puzzle piece, which is what you are looking for, is the um, last thing to load. So I will go ahead and stay on with you while all of my extensions load. Uh, your extension may load faster or slower depending on um, how the network is by you and also what computer you're on. So there we go. See the read and write for Google Chrome shows up in my bar when I'm logged in. So if you are a student and you log in, it will be there. It might take a minute to log to um, show up, but all student profiles, if you are logged into Chrome, you will get this purple puzzle piece.